You know, I, I, I have to say, though, I think our, 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 our theater community has evolved a lot in my lifetime, quite a lot. Um, in the, in the um, 80s, there was a, a huge movement um, across the country, actually, um, and in particular in Toronto, in terms of uh, uh, illum understanding what this... What uh, the the inequities in, of arts funding in terms of cultural equity and what the values were, um, what what the obstacles were in terms of say a Filipino a Filipino theater group getting funding. Why was it always getting turned away and getting sent to multiculturalism and citizenship rather than getting money from the Arts Council? Why was Canada Council simply just refusing to uh, accept certain applications on the basis that they weren't professional. What was the definition of professional? All of those, all of those uh, uh, assumptions uh, at an arts council level were examined. Um, there was a mass amount of community out, uh, input. There were soundings like every artist of color that I knew uh, got just exhausted by the number of soundings and reports that we were asked to participate in. But the end result was that there were there were some serious changes in in the funding infrastructure that allowed allowed uh, groups uh, First Nations groups and artists of color to have more success at, at in terms of getting funding. And and thus we started to see from the 90s um, a, a, a stable a stable growth. Of uh, of uh, of theater groups of color because what happened is in the 70s there was an explosion of Canadian theater groups in general right uh, including a bunch of black theater companies a couple of Asian theater companies but they all tanked after about six years because at some point they hit some kind of funding barrier where Canada Council went no we just don't think you're professional enough not enough of your members are actors equity and. At that point, some of the members might not be actors' equity because there wasn't enough regular work in equity, right? Or, or, or any a, a other number of reasons. But um, Black Theatre Canada went down. Um, uh, Can Asian Artist Group went down. There were other groups. I can't like I used to have them all in my head, but I can't remember them now. But I feel like now we're at a place where, you know, the incremental improvements have made a difference. But more than that. The demographic realities of of who lives here, who's Canadian, and also in the states, a similar uh, demographic shift uh, where there are simply um, uh, more people of color, so that the the market actually starts to come in play.